This week's Tableau Tip Tuesday comes from a question I got in an email from Jonathan Hader. If you look at the example in the chart below, what he wants to do is if a, uh, in, when he's displaying labels, if the first decimal place is a zero, he wants to display it without the point zero, just display it as a whole number. But if it's not zero, display it to one decimal place. So how do we go about doing that? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag product subcategory to the rows. And I've created a calculation for profit ratio. That's just simply sum of profit divided by sum of sales. And I'm going to drag that to the columns. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my mark labels. OK, and if I go ahead and sort this, you'll see that right here, we've got this bar for telephones and communication. That had that has zero after the first decimal place. So we so what Jonathan wants to do is display that as 26. So how do we go about doing that? So I'm going to create a calculated field, and I'm going to call it profit ratio remainder zero. And what I'm going to say here is is I'm going to say if the uh, product profit ratio times 1,000 wrap that in brackets modulo 10 so that gets me to the uh, to to that first decimal place if that's equal to zero then return profit ratio and hit OK and then what I want to do is I want to format this let's change the default number format for this to be percentage with no decimals now if I put that on the label shelf you'll see that this only this one record shows up as 26 because that's the only one that has zero as the first decimal place. Okay, so then to show the one decimal place for the rest of them, I'm going to first duplicate this calculation and edit it, and I'm just going to say not zero. And I'm, all I need to do is change my equals to a not equals and hit OK. But for this one, my default number format needs to be one decimal. Hit OK. And let's drag that to the to the detail and then add that to the label. And there we go. Just like that we're done. So one of the thing I like things I like to do here is click on the label shelf and just make sure that these are on the same line. Because you, you don't want them displayed one above the other. So let's hit OK. And there we go. So that fixes our display a bit. And that's really all there is to it. So now you can see that 26 is displayed to zero uh, to no decimals and the rest of them are displayed to one decimal. So hopefully you found that useful. It's a neat way to apply the modulo function. And until next week, have a good day.